the inline and it's a 65 for Balancholic. Center back down low, 68 to 65. Here's the puck. It's high, it's in towards the goal mount, and it's gone over the bar. Down's second point of the game, making the score now after 8 minutes to play. Aha Bullock still no score, Balancholic 3 points. But up at the other end of the field, Aha Bullock got their first score of the game from full forward. Michael Paul Buckley making the score, Aha Bullock 1 point, Balancholic 3 points. <laughs>
as the score still remains spelling colour three points, Hamalad one point. <laughs>
ஆபாலக் கூப்பிண்ட
In fact, it is half time here at Ovens. The team's going level. Aha Balako never went into the lead at any stage of this game. They drew with Balancholic on two occasions, midway through the first half and again at half time. Balancholic certainly playing everything up to ba to Aha Balak. And no doubt there will be some talk from both sides in the dressing rooms at half time. These men too taking a break at half time. The men who keep the tally of the scores, the scorekeepers. They have the score half time, seven pints apiece. And certainly we're looking forward to a good second half from both sides. It's nice to take a break and have a, a quite little smoke for yourself. Quite a large crowd has gathered here at Robbins to see this double header, the Midcock Junior Football and Hurling Championship Finals. In the first game, Kimari beat Brownie on a score of 13 points to 1 7 in the Midcock Junior Football Championship Final. And here we see the magnificent new stand which is being erected here at Airog. The Balancholic team are making their way onto the field and they're certainly putting everything up to our ballot today. They have won a Midcock Junior Championship since way back in 1963. That's 23 years ago. Also on that occasion they won the county. And they're certainly doing their bit to try and get up to the top in hurling in Midcock. Out in the centre of the field now we have the Baron Colleg team. As they wait the arrival of Baha Balk. Here come Aha Balog. Aha Balog have better success in recent years. Their last Midcock victory was in 1983-84. But they lost to Blarney in last year's first round of the championship. So 30 minutes to go in this Midcock Junior Holland Championship final. And we should know who will be the Midcock champions of 1986. Jamie Hall of Cahoyne, Hoff Cliddoff, Unway
video by my colleague and it's been to two minutes naked. He tops it high and it's over the bar, another point for Balan Colleague. As they go into one point lead once again, making the score now. Balan Colleague eight points. Ah Bollock seven points. Six minutes gone in the second half.
dropping balling towards the coal mouth. And it's gone over the bar, a great pine there from Dennis O'Driscoll. From way out the field, making the score now. Ballon Collect 9 points, uh, Ballon 7 points. As he approaches three quarter away stage of the game. <laughs>
the Barra Corner forward Michael Haney it blasted that ball to the left and wide. It could, it could be a costly miss before this game is over. <laughs>
all for her bullet as time ticks away and the dying moments of the game.
but uh, so to the spirit of our bullock, he never gave up and just made it in a nail biting finish. Probably we have settled for a draw on the board side, but however, <laughs> I suppose any team that fought back so well deserves to win. Um, I suppose Ballon Colleague, after having played so well for so long, must be disappointed and they have been out of the limelight for a while. However, I think they can take heart from their performance today and uh, it is good to see Hurling coming to the forefront in the Ballon Colleague Club again, in a club which has such a strong tradition for Hurling. Uh, now that you are going on to represent your club and division in the inter county or the, in the county championship, the inter divisional series, uh, we wish you the best of luck and you carry the best wishes of the board and all of the division in your quest to bring the county honours to Ahabolub. I want to compliment Michael Keane and his team of officials for their efficient handling of the game and again the Euro Club for their efficient arrangements and uh, the use of their facilities. So, I will just say the best of luck to you and I will ask our treasurer, uh, one of our longest serving officer, to, uh, and an Agbolog man of course also, present the cup to Shawnee who is a very deserving captain. Congratulations, lads. <laughs> Thank you. 